Hello there. One of the things you might have to do in your OET speaking is explain a medical procedure to a patient. And in this video, we're going to look at how you can explain a cannula and what it is to your patients. In the test, you're going to get three minutes to prepare your role play. And I always say one of the things you should be doing is thinking about what phrases are really medical, technical, those kind of things, and thinking about how you can explain them in everyday language to your patients. My name's Sona, I'm your online OET tutor with Bose Learning, and I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video and wanting to upgrade your OET with us. You know, this is one of those common tasks that comes up, explaining how something takes place but using everyday lay language. So of course you're really familiar with what a cannula is, but a patient won't necessarily know what it is. They might have a vague idea, they might have a wrong idea, and it's up to you to explain what it is and the procedure of inserting one. But this video is focusing on a cannula. I've got other videos which explain other procedures and um, conditions in lay language, so take a look at those, but let's just focus on a cannula for now. So my questions for you today are these. What is a cannula? Of course you know, but how are you going to explain this to a patient? Why is it used and how is it inserted? I'm going to give you some expressions which will give you a guide on how you can explain these things. And I'm going to give you 30 seconds to try and fill in the gaps so that you're building up your useful bank of phrases that you might be able to use in your OET and of course beyond when you're actually working with your patients in the UK or Australia or wherever it is that you're going to work. So question number one then, what is a cannula? Try and fill in these gaps. So what you can say here is that a cannula is a small flexible plastic tube inserted into a vein. Now I'm not a medical healthcare professional, I'm an English teacher, so my information comes from nhsforthevalley.com. I've put in the URL down here and I'll stick it in the um, info box as well. So take a look at that. Okay, how did you go with that one? Let's try question two. 30 seconds coming up, can you fill in the gaps? Okay, and here you could say the cannula is used to give you medication or fluids that you are unable to take by mouth or that need to enter your bloodstream directly. You can go on to explain about the cap. There is a small coloured cap on the outside of the cannula. It's important the cap remains closed to help prevent infection. Of course, there are other ways you can explain this, but this is just a useful way to explain why a cannula is used. Okay, the third one coming up, it's a bit longer because you're explaining procedure this time. So I'm going to give you a minute to fill in the gaps. Here we go.
Okay, so this is what you can say. And we've got some nice organising kind of expressions as well at the start, which is important for the OET, of course. So how is it inserted? I'll find a suitable vein, or if it's not you and you're explaining what someone else will do, then the professional, the healthcare professional will find a suitable vein, the nurse, the doctor, etc. Then after cleaning my hands and the area of skin around the vein, I'll use a tight strap called a tourniquet just at the top to help select the best vein. It's absolutely fine to use medical terms, but just explain what they are. Use a tight strap called a tourniquet. I'll insert the cannula into a vein using a needle. It might be a little uncomfortable, but it hopefully won't be too bad. When it is correctly in position, I'll take the needle out, leaving the cannula in the vein and put a dressing on to hold the cannula in place. And then you'll be all ready in case you need any medication or fluid. So we've got step-by-step -step procedure here, which will hopefully explain everything nicely to your patient. If you want to listen to how this might be spoken, here's a shorter version, and it comes from a great website called The Geeky Medics. Take a listen to what he says. Nice to meet you, James. Today I've been asked to insert a cannula into your arm. It's a small plastic tube that will allow us to give fluids and medication. It might be a bit uncomfortable, but it won't be painful. Is that okay? Yes, it is, yeah. Okay, and that's another way you can explain it. Of course, that's much shorter and in the OET it's probably better to go through it step by step, but follow what they're given to you on your task card, of course. Uh, well, I hope you found that useful. If you want more help with speaking, then why not check out my on-demand self-access courses. All the videos are pre-recorded so you can go away and study in your own time. I've got two on speaking, one for doctors, one for nurses. There's also writing available for doctors and reading for everyone as well. Oh yes, and speaking for pharmacists too. I mustn't forget them. So take a look at those. I've popped in some discount codes actually for you in the info box below so you can take a look at that. And if you like this video, it'd be so nice if you can help me grow this channel by pressing the like button, subscribing, sending this to friends or colleagues as well. And if you'd like a free dose of all things OET, then why not sign up for my regular newsletter? And there's a QR code or again, I'll put in the URL in the info box below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.